Hello everyone, in today's video we will be installing a GFI receptacle, in this case a Lutron GFI receptacle, and a screwless plate from Lutron in this powder room counter. Uh, in this case we have line and we have load. We noticed that the wire got nicked by the drywallers and their routing tool, but we have a solution for this. We anticipated that this may be an issue. We usually uh, leave a very large loop of wire, as you can see, sitting above the box so we can pull uh, and uh, get rid of this uh, inconvenience. Now let's proceed to tighten up our bracket at the back of the box. wire is secure. Then we can trim out the damaged part. We label our wire um, above where the loop is sitting and also inside the box so we never um, uh, connect wires in the wrong spot. Then we'll proceed to use a hook knife to strip the Romex insulation. You guys seen me do this in my previous videos where I will just use my hook knife to score and cut the Romex insulation. And same with the other side. Okay, we're done with the knife. We'll put it away. Proceed to peel back. The Romus insulation, same here. Then we can use our side cutters. And as I showed before, I like just cutting right there, the back, just nicking the Romex insulation a little bit. You pull it, it comes out. Here's our load. The same for the line side, just a little nick on each side, pull it, and here's our line. This follow, following step is to ground our box. This is a metal box. We wrap the screw clockwise with our ground wire, and then we tie it. Now we can cut that ground wire since we only need one for our receptacle. And we do the same with our second ground wire. Only in this case, this one we don't cut because we need it to ground our receptacle. Here we have our Lutron 15 amp tamper proof GFI receptacle and uh, has, as you can see, it says clearly line and it says load. First we'll start by grounding the receptacle. We can use our Robertson number one screwdriver. And we will put our ground wire right there on that little terminal. We can hand tie it. Get a tug, solid, it's in place. We can lose the load screws. They come tied by default. Leave that hanging there for a second. Then we will use our trick, fist and thumb to have about seven inches um, outside of our box. Cut the extra. We can now go ahead and strip our conductors. I like doing about three eighths to half an inch in this case. It's a good depth for the terminals on the GFI receptacle. So 
So first we'll connect our line side. And as you, if you look at the back of the GFI, you have the line side and then you have your load side. And uh, the screws, you have a silver side and you have a brass or copper looking side, gold side, that's where your hot sits. It's also labeled right outside the GFI receptacle. So we'll place the neutral in its spot. Use our number one rubber sun. Hand tied. Give it a tug. No copper extruding out of the terminal, which is perfect. We'll do the same on the line side. go we'll tie it just hand tie it now we'll do the same with our load side the load side will be GFI protected and the neutral on the low side. Everything seems solid. Now we will back our wires in an L-shaped spring, as I like to call it. Make sure wires don't get crushed back of the box there's no issues now we can use our driver with a Phillips uh, Phillips bit let's go soft in there for a second just drilled in a drive the screw just a bit so you can line it up Perfect. Then we'll back up the receptacle. Make sure that it sits well. Slowly tie it up. At this point, I like to use my level. Make sure the receptacle is straight before we tie the last little bit. Looks level to me. Now we can softly just finish tying the last little bit with our screwdriver. Next is the installation of our plate. Here's a screwless plate. We will place the mounting bracket in position. And this time we can use our driver with our Phillips bit just to mount it. Perfect, there's no edges, uh, so the drywall is all setting well in place. We snap the plate, and there you guys have it. It's not gonna reset because the power is off, but once that you turn on the power, there will be a red light, you push this button, and it will reset, and everything will be powered on. Uh, and there you have it. That's an easy, quick GFI installation on a powder room or a washroom. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.